What's up everybody, hope you're all doing great and welcome all to Selenix Crypto and to this video uh, in which we will do a quick price prediction and price analysis on the IOS uh, network. I think that's the way to call it, I mean it's uh, AIOZ, that's the abbreviation and the ticker. Um, and I thought it would be interesting to analyze the AOS network, I mean it has been, uh, I might be a little bit late, but um, it has been added to uh, Coinbase Pro and Coinbase uh, respectively. In the last few days and the volume is still looking good compared to the market cap at least it's 15.5 uh, percent so i thought it would be interesting uh what we saw in the last few days that it, is, is that it went all the way from 13 and a half cents to 26 cents so 100 percent gain over a few days um, and it does look to be over right now i mean if we compare the volume right now with uh, the volume we had oh it's actually still growing so okay that's a good thing the volume is still growing so there might still be some momentum but um you know we found resistance here at as i said 26 and a half cents and then at uh, 24 cents as you can see right there uh, both quite strong resistance levels and now it made us drop down all the way down or under this key level right here at, uh, between uh, 21 70 and 20 cents um, and that's the weird part is that we're actually finding some more bullish moves right now So I, I mean, I guess the, the the only way we can actually see some more bullish things is that or some more bullish moves if is If we actually manage to close above 22 cents, so that would be my main condition Do I think that's likely to happen? Uh, to be honest, no, but it is possible. So if we close above 22 cents, then we might actually uh, you know either take a break retest or don't but then we could actually uh, break up to at least 24 cents and I would say that as long as we stay above 22 cents uh, we could also reach this uh, full key area again we might even reach it a little bit higher so the full key area ranges all the way from 26 to 29 cents so it's quite a big area so you know I could I wouldn't be surprised that if these conditions apply that we could actually get up to around 28 cents I doubt that we're going to hit the, the upper upper bound of the key level, but like 28, 27 and a half cents is possible. As I said, if we manage to break above 22 cents and stay above it, uh, if not, and I still think that's the most likely scenario, then we would probably go up to 22 cents or 21 and a half cents and then drop down to 17 and a half cents at first. That might hold for a couple of days. Uh, but ultimately, I think with iOS, uh, I think we're dropping down all the way to 16 cents. Uh, and 16 cents is the support level uh, upon which I think we will find the strongest support for now. Of course, that also depends on the on the market circumstances once it hits that area. Uh, I mean, if we get some really bearish fundamental uh, news throughout the world, then uh, 16 cents is probably not going to hold as well. But uh, for now i got good hope that uh, 60 cents will hold so then it's still uh, if you compare it with uh, the last week or uh, a week ago then it's actually really bullish but we um, in that case we haven't really gotten up uh, from like compared to a month ago so that's not that great but still uh, it's a relatively young crypto it's just been listed on coinbase so um, still a lot of time uh, so yeah, that's basically my analysis on the iOS network or the iOS token. If you do have any questions about this analysis or anything I said within the video, please let me know down in the comments and I'll make sure to respond to that as soon as possible. Uh, but as for now, thank you all for watching and listening. And I hope to see you all in my next videos. Bye.